Lesson two, plant parts. Even though there are many, many different kinds of plants living in our world, all plants need nutrients or food, water, air, and light. And most plants also have similar basic parts, roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and seeds. The leaves are the parts of the plant that make food for the plant. Now take a look at this sunflower. The parts of the plant you see down here at the bottom are the roots. The roots of the plant are covered with soil, so when we see plants growing in nature, we usually aren't able to see the roots unless we take the plants out of the ground. The plant's roots reach down into the soil and grow underground. They help to hold the plant in place in the soil, but most important, the roots take up water and nutrients that are in the soil. Nutrients help plants grow and stay healthy, just like vitamins help you grow and stay healthy. The water and nutrients move through the roots up into the stem of the plant, which holds the plant up tall toward the light. As the water and nutrients travel up the stem, they're able to reach other parts of the plant, like the leaves. The leaves are the parts of a plant that are attached to and grow out from the stem. The leaves are usually green, but they can be other colors as well. Many plants have flowers, which are also called blossoms. Look at the blossoms on this sunflower plant. Around the outside, it has many bright petals. The flower petals of different plants come in every color you can imagine. Now, look in the center part of the sunflower blossom, the part that has many yellow petals around it. This part of the plant is made up of many small seeds. One sunflower seed is only about the size of one of your fingernails. If the seeds of the sunflower plant are put into the soil, they will make a new sunflower plant. Sometimes people eat the seeds from some plants. You may even have tasted a sunflower seed yourself. Even though most plants have the same basic parts, roots, a stem, leaves, flowers, and seeds, these parts may look different on different kinds of plants. These beautiful flowers are from many different kinds of plants. Did you notice that not only are the colors of the flowers different, but the flower petals from different plants have different shapes too. This apple tree has the same parts as the other plants we have seen. We can't see any apples because this picture was taken in the spring when the blossoms or flowers come out. The apples will start growing in the summer and will be ready for picking in the fall. We can't see the roots of the apple tree because they're growing underground, but we can see several other parts. We can see many stems on the tree. The smaller stems are called branches. Do you see the apple blossoms and the leaves? There are many, many leaves attached to the branches on this apple tree. The largest part of the tree is called the trunk. The outside of the trunk is covered in bark. Bark is a, it's kind of like clothing for trees. It protects the inside of the tree. Here are some leaves from different kinds of trees. Take a close look and you'll notice that the leaves have different shapes. In fact, one way to tell what kind of tree you are looking at 
is to look closely at its leaves. The leaf on the top left is from a sugar maple tree. The leaf below that is from a white oak tree. The leaf on the top right is from a witch hazel tree. And the leaf below that is from a black oak tree. Remember, many plants, not just trees, have leaves. In fact, leaves are especially important to the survival of plants. And that means that leaves are very important in making sure that the plants stay alive. When light shines on the green leaves of any plant, the leaves absorb or soak up energy from the light through an amazing process called photosynthesis. The leaf uses the light to turn the water and air already in the plant into food for the rest of the plant. Do you remember earlier uh, that we said the roots and stem of a plant move water and nutrients from the soil to other parts of a plant, such as the leaves? During photosynthesis, Water, nutrients, air, and light come together in the plant's leaves. This is how plants make food for themselves. It's a good thing, too, because plants can't move like animals or people, so they are unable to go out and find food somewhere else. Plants have to make food for themselves. Once the water and nutrients are made into food through photosynthesis, Parts of the leaves, called the veins, carry food back to the stem. From there, the food is taken to the rest of the plant where it's needed. Now you have learned about most of the basic parts of many plants. Plants begin as seeds, which sprout and grow roots, stems, leaves, and then flowers. The roots, stems, and leaves work together with water, nutrients, air, and light to make food for the plant through photosynthesis. Say that word three times to help you remember it. Let's go. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis.